Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, back with another episode of The Charming Empire. I fucked up last episode, so we already know what is going on. Wait, they didn't change up their guards or anything, even though the princess got kidnapped? What the hell? This is like him inviting you guys in. Tamba suddenly back to his usual self. Thank goodness the creep came back. It was just starting to get awkward. So This time, instead of going back to my room, I'm joining the rebels to invade the palace. Thanks to the rebels survey of the area, we are able to sneak past the guards and head into the hidden pathway safely. A few men with headlights lead the way. A nearby man speaks up. Shiranainjanaidesco. Tamba puts a hand on my shoulder and the men exchange looks. Ano, sumimasen deshita. The two men cower to the back of the group. Wari na, kiyotsukai nai yatsura de. It's okay, don't worry about me. All the praise I hear for my about my brother in the palace might just be empty words, or maybe they're just the opinions of the rich, and I'm sure the people who work for him admire him. At least I hope they do. Heiwa. I'm not sure. No one ever told me about them. I think back to the day I found a hidden pathway. One day I was walking down the hall, ran into a room to hide, and it happened to be a secret passage. No, I didn't want anyone to know I found it. Yeah, you're right. My stifling daily life probably made me think that way. Sorry. Tama's not from the palace, but I still feel guilty my secret's been found out. なんで俺に謝ってんだよ。どんな手段使っても、あんたが町に来られるなら、俺は大歓迎だぜ。でも、あんたってお人やかに見えるけど、結構お天場だよな。姫様なのに一人で町に来てたしな。Does <笑> that make me reckless? I glanced anxiously at Tomba, worried I made a bad impression. It doesn't matter which one I choose, so I don't care. Do you like quieter girls, Tomba? Tomba struggles to explain himself. Sorry, this isn't time to bring that up. Tamba san, konna toki ni irokezukanai de kudasai yo. You're the one who wanted time off for the festival. One of Tamba's regulars whispered from behind. Nanda yo, bikkuri sasere na. Kinchou kan ga tari nai desu yo. Ai o kataru ni shitemo nan ni shitemo, koto ga katazuite kara ni shitemo rara nai to. He has a point. Ai, o omae, nan itte ren da yo. Tamba yells at the man before turning back to me. Tamba practically yells in my face. The regulars always joke around. He doesn't have to remind me it's not true. It feels like my happiness is shoved to the ground. Suddenly, the man up in front comes to a stop. Tamba san, when I went to the house, I was going to the house. I was going to the house. Mm, 
Since I live here, I can just say I'm lost if I get caught wandering the halls, but... Tomba would have been arrested on the spot. How did he just wander around? Tamba says I'm reckless, but he's pretty reckless himself. As Tamba racks his memory, I step up to the man to explain. You can get to the palace safely through that hallway here. Or there. I point the way. Oh, Leave it to me. By the way, the pa left passage leads to my room. I stop. I didn't label my room on the map I gave Tamba. My confidence wavers now that we're in the palace. I decide, but I decide to trust Tamba. This is my room, and I point to the finger on the map and guide my finger to my brother's room. This is my bro- I mean, Soshi a Amazaki's room. I can't turn back now. I raise my head high to get rid of any lingering doubts and step forward to lead the way. Tomba gives the order and the rebels break up into groups. This is it. My heart races and won't calm down. I put a hand on my chest and take a deep breath. Anta if I go with Tamba, my brother will think I'm a traitor. But I just can't just wait here now that I've come this far. I'm going with you. So Tamba gives me a silent nod. The group heads to their designated spots. Tamba, some rebels, and, our, and I are in the pathway that leads to my room. We'll be in my room once we open this door. Now that I think, now that they think I've been taken hostage, there shouldn't be any guards around. But it's best to play it safe. Yes, Ikusa. The rebels and I silently follow Tamba's lead. Oh, good. There's no one here. I look around the room and confirm that there aren't any guards. My room looks like, looks just like I left it. Thinking about the day I left is depressing. I wonder what happened with my engagement. After hearing I was getting married the next day, I ran away hoping to see Tamba one last time. But the rebels probably don't have any idea about what happened to the engagement. Should my brother lose the throne, what will happen to me? Anxiety wells within my chest yet again. Oi, what are the rebel's voice brings me back to reality, and I realize I'm the only one left in the room. The rebels are already heading into the hallway. There's no time to space out. I need to catch up. I take a deep breath and run after the group. There aren't any guards in the hallway, and the rebels head quietly to Solshi's room. That's strange. There are always guards on patrol in this hallway. When we turn the corner, there's a bunch of guards unconscious on the floor. The other group of rebels must have knocked them out so they wouldn't be in our way. Sorry guys. I wonder a silent apology before heading into my brother's room. As I follow the group into my, the rooms, my eyes meet my brothers. Even though so she's surrounded, he just stares at us from his chair, completely unfazed. You don't look surprised. お前が町の奴らに入れ込んでいるのは知っていたからな。まったく。人質になったかと思えば、今度は侵入の手引きか。首相なことだ。You're expecting me to help them? ああ、そういうことになるな。おい、ゆっくり話をしている暇はないだろう。逃げられる前にさっさと拘束しねえと。So she glances at the ropes in the rebel's hands, but doesn't move an inch. 好きにしろ。what? He sat in his chair as unashamed and dignified as a leader should be. He doesn't beg for his life or try to run away. In fact, he's almost he seems almost calm. Anshinshira. 
危害を加える気はない。A rebel takes each of Solshi's arms and pulls him up from the chair, but his expression doesn't change. His behavior is so strange that I can't help but ask quietly. Did you know the rebels were coming? なぜそう思う分かっていたなら迎え撃つ用意をすると思うが I, I don't know, it's just a feeling. アンバさん、ここにとどまっている理由はない。早く出ようぜ。One of the rebels interrupts me impatiently. ああ、分かってる。でも、逃げる気はないって言ってんだ。一言二言くらい。話をさせてもいいだろうたく丹波さんは本当にその子には甘いよな今に始まったことじゃねえけどな The rebels holding so she heave a big sigh Sorry, it'll be a little bit longer I apologize to Tamba and the rebels for turning back to my brother Are you sure you weren't hoping for a revolution yourself? 何をバカなことを言っているんだ So she's curt and unapproachable, but I feel like this is my chance to clear everything up. When a group of rebels bursts into your room, I think you'd get surprised or call the guards, but she didn't do either. こいつらが入ってきた時点で抵抗しても無駄だろうと諦めただけだ Are you telling the truth, So she? Just as I'm about to ask his real motives. Amazaki sama, go with this guy. A group of guards come in with swords at the ready. Oi, Kisama! Nani o stay in the Amazak Samakara Hanarero! The guards immediately head over to the two rebels holding Solshi's arms. The rebels are no match for the trained guards who have their swords at the rebels' necks before they know it. Nah, Dakara Hayak deo te tatteroni. Hayak taske de grasa yo, Damba sa. The rebels put up a strong front, but his cheeks are steam- streaming with sweat. Tamba nods shamefully. Ah, I understand. Tamba pulls something out of his breast pocket. It's a shiny black pistol. Yes, it's a pistol. I suddenly remember how good Tamba was at the rifle game. I didn't know he was a rebel back then, but it all makes sense now. The two guards reluctantly put, their swords, put down their swords and step back. Just as the two rebels are about to aim their weapons at the guards, the guards are faster, and they pin those rebels down. The rebels struggle to get away, but the guards are stronger. I thought we had the situation under control, since Solshi didn't resist, but now the rebels have the short end of the stick. Yes, this is all your fault. Excuse me, I messed up my courage to call out to one of the guards. Hime sama, Kakumei gun ni hitojichi ni tolareta to kikimashi ta ga, kore wa ittai. It seems the guard still thinks I'm a hostage. Then it's not very honest, but this might just work. Help! The guards exchange confused looks. I don't blame them, I'm not even tied up. Oi! Shime to Amazaki wa ore tachi ga tsurete kaeru. Te da shi surun jane! Tamba catches onto my plan and pulls my arms behind my back. Now it looks like I've been captured. Shime sama! Omae! Kusu! Itsu made tsukanden da yo! The rebels use all their strength to push the distracted guards away. They run to Tamba's side, realizing how hard it is to take my brother hostage. The rebels and guards face each other with their weapons in hand. It's a touch and go situation. Tamba, you can't be a man. You can't be a man. この国はずっとこのままだ。戦うしかないだろう。けど。タンバ glances at me. Is he reluctant to fight because I told him not to hurt anyone? But I just can't let them get killed without a fight. I'm not being fair. タンバ is doing all he can to hold back the violence. But タンバ's safety is more important to me than anything else. タンバ, 
Suddenly there's a gunshot and my brother falls to the ground. Solshi! I completely forgot that I'm on the rebel side and rush over to my brother. Solshi, are you okay? The guards don't point their swords at me or hold me back. That's what he says, but his face is deathly pale and blood pours from his leg. You're bleeding! We have to stop the bleeding! When I look around for someone who's to stop the bleeding, Tamba shouts at the two rebels. Suddenly someone runs towards us. It was a member of the group assigned to guarding the hidden pathway. When the rebel makes a commotion trying to explain himself, Tamba just sighs. <laughs> a gunshot interrupted the rebel. This time it comes from one of the palace guards. The guard cocks his gun and aims it at Tamba. Oh no, Tamba's in trouble. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. I tried to figure out what to do when. The maid who always comes to help me comes running frantically into the room. Her eyes open wide when she sees the situation. The words fire remind me of the disaster in town. Tamba, did you... Thinking the fire might have been the rebels doing, I turned to ask Tamba. Tamba and the other rebels look just as confused as I am, so I know this isn't part of the plan. We can hear the guards and servants running from the fire, but the guards in this room don't put down their weapons. Two guns are pointed at Tamba and the rebels. Another servant comes to urge my brother to escape. My brother holds up his hand to silence the guard and struggles to stand up with his injured leg. Everyone seems confused by my brother's actions. Even Tamba and the rebels just look on with bated breath. So she sighs, pulls a gun from his pocket, and points it at the guards. The guards reluctantly put away their weapons and leave the rooms with the servants. Tamba and the rebels stare after them in amazement. The guards' footsteps gradually fade away. So she silently tucks his gun away. And that will be it for this video. So thank you for watching. Please leave a like and I forgot how to save. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!